All right, so we're on our way to go check out the primitive salute to the Alamo and their defenders. sacrifices made on both sides of the Battle of the Alamo 180 years ago today. The purpose of this ceremony is not to justify a cause, nor is it to claim a victory. Rather, the purpose of this ceremony is to remember the supreme sacrifices made on this momentous event in the 300-year history of our historic city of San Antonio. On this anniversary morning, we assembled to remember the Alamo and to make a sincere gesture of historical reconciliation between the neighboring people of two great nations. Our commemorative ceremony takes place in Alamo Plaza on this most wild ground in Texas. At this time, this hour, to commemorate the pre-dawn hour in which the Battle of the Alamo took place in and around this very plaza where we are standing on March 6, 1836. General Antonio Lopez de Santana had marched the army of almost 5,000 Mexican troops on three fronts into Texas in the dead of winter to crush this rebellion. Arriving in San Antonio de Veja early than expected, on February 23rd, the vanguard of the Army of Operations surprised the Texan garrison led by co-commanders Colonel James Bowie and Lieutenant Colonel William Barrett Travis, forcing them into the walled Alamo Fortress. For 12 days, more than 189 Texian and Tejano defenders were besieged by Santana's army. Assembling since midnight until around 5 a.m. on March 6, the Mexican soldados had quietly positioned themselves within 200 yards of the walls for the attack upon the Alamo. It is now just after 6 a.m. and the men of the Alamo garrison are exhausted and weary and dirty from the 12 noisy and busy days and nights. Suddenly there is the sound of El de Guello, the attacking bugle call of no, for no quarter that is heard out in the darkness from over the Alamo's adobe and stone walls. This was the signal that began the final assault from all sides upon the old mission fortress called the Alamo. Shortly there was heard the sounds of thousands of pounding feet running towards the walls. By 7 a.m. on this hallowed ground, almost all of the combatants of the Alamo garrison were overwhelmed and slain, along with a large number of Mexican soldiers who had made the assault upon the walls of the Alamo that once surrounded us during this historic hour where we are this morning.
final struggle, I looked out and saw the surging columns of Santa Ana assaulting the Alamo on every side. I could hear the noise of the conflict, the roar of the artillery, the rattle of the small arms, the shouts of the combatants, the groans of the dying and the moans of the wounded. The firing came closer to where we were, and then I realized that the brave Tejanos and Texians had been overwhelmed by the Mexican soldados. And now, in an act of historical reconciliation and solemn remembrance of those who died on both sides of this conflict on March 6th, the St. Francis Peace Prayer is offered in English by San Antonio District 1 City Councilman Roberto C. Trevino and in Spanish by the Salha Board Chairman Robert Benavides. Family descendants of Miel Skurlock. that belongs to the city of San Antonio, adjacent to the state portion of the Alamo. the 180th, 180th anniversary commemorative ceremony. Thank you. All right, me and wifey here, we just finished watching the reenactment of the battle of the Alamo. Very awesome, very first time ever. And I have to say that it is well worth getting up early in the morning to go view. It's great. All right, time for breakfast. See y'all in a little bit. <laughs>